Good morning everyone, this is the MedCity CPA and I'm reading through the IRS form instructions for the 1040 and I just want to go over a quick overview of the new changes that the IRS is publicizing about the, the 1040. Uh, a lot of people have been commenting that it has been redesigned for 2018. That's spot on, that's correct. The other new things that have happened, uh, the 1040A and the 1040EZ, uh, I don't know if everyone remembers, those were the shortened version of the 1040. Um, those are also going away for 2018. Um, now you will like you will file the 1040 likely. Um, so you may still have references right here. It says some forms, publications may still have references to 1040, 1040 EZ, please disregard. So the IRS is saying right here in the instructions, please disregard the references to 1040A or 1040EZ, which makes sense because they redesigned the 1040 and there's a lot of forms and a lot of instructions and publications that will need to be updated. And I, it, it probably will take some time, I imagine. So other things, um, here we have the change of a due date. Um, if you live in Maine or Massachusetts, you have until April 17th, 2019 because of Patriot's Day holiday in those states and the Mass Nation, Mass Nation Day, in ho Day holiday in the District of Columbia. So there we go. So you get a little bit of extra time, change in tax rates. Everybody knows about that. Um, they've been reduced for most people. Um, the standard deduction amount increased, so everyone's probably happy about that. But not too many people are happy about the personal exemption that has been suspended. You can't claim a personal exemption for yourself, your spouse, or your dependents. So I'm not sure who else you would be claiming a personal exemption for, if it's not yourself, your spouse, or your dependents, but needless to say, you can no longer claim them for your personal exemption. Uh, increase the child tax credit, additional tax credit. So that's pretty awesome. Right here, 2000 per child. There we go, increase there. New credit for other dependents. So if you have a dependent, you may be able to claim credit for the other dependents. The credit is non-refundable for each eligible dependent who can't be claimed for a child tax credit. So that's kind of a unique situation. Uh, Social Security number is still required for a child tax credit. Your child must be must have a social security number valid for employment issued before the due date of your 2018 return to be claimed as a qualifying child for a child tax credit. If your child does not qualify for a child tax credit, you may be able to claim new credit for the other dependents for the child. If your child does not qualify for but has a tax credit, you may be for the new oh yeah so they have a new credit for the child that isn't um, for their dependents okay awesome qualify business income deduction so there you go up to 20% of your qualified business income for qualified trade there you go changes to itemized deductions there have been changes um, your overall itemized deduction no longer limited because your adjusted gross income is over a certain amount. Your deductions of state and local taxes, let's see, to a combined total deduction of $10,000. So they're limiting your state and local income tax sales and property taxes. Ooh, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. 10,000 or 5,000 married filing separately. No longer deduct job-related expenses or miscellaneous itemized that were subject to the 2% adjusted income floor. The AMT is raised. I think they raise that pretty much every year. At least every year I've been doing taxes. Um, let's see, 70,000, okay. 109, married filing generally, a qualified willer. 54, seven. Okay, so that's half there. The married filing separately. Um, the income levels in which the AMT exemption begins phase out have increased to half a million dollars. So, got a little bump there. 
Section 965, Deferred Foreign Income. Usually that won't apply to most people. Uh, guilty or Global Intangible Low Income Tax under 951A. Yeah, that probably won't happen to most people. Domestic Production Activities Deduction probably won't happen to most people. Expired Tax Benefits. At the time these instructions went to print, some tax benefits that had expired. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see if they got updated. I'm actually really curious. So, the AGI threshold for medical expenses was restored to 7.5%. And here's the statements for income tax withholding. Changed from 10% to 7.5% for the medical expenses restored. Yeah, there you go. So they moved it back for 2018. So that's something we need to keep in track of. So these are a quick video about new things that happened to the 1040 um, in the instructions. So, all right, hopefully this is helpful for everyone. Have a good morning.